welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well out there. How's your stress level? How you doing? Y'all hanging in there? I know it's been like, what is that meme that I just saw today? What a year this week has been. Never has anyone written anything true or what a year this week has been. We're gonna do something fun today because I think we all need it. You need a break. Everybody always asks me things I recommend. When I find something I like, I swear by it. I'm not an in-between person. I'm not a, well, this is kind of good, this is okay. It's like, love it, hate it. Love it, never buying it again. Love it, giving it away. So there's not a lot of middle of the road with me in products. And when I find products I love, I love them and I buy multiples in honor of my birthday. 52, 52 things, things, my favorite TV shows. I'm not a big TV watcher. I mostly love documentaries. My favorite TV shows, go ahead and laugh, I'm a nerd. Two classics from USA Network called Monk. I quote Frasier all the time. I just made this random list of 52 things. Kind of funny because there's no order. There's no rhyme or reason. Favorite dog names, Voodoo and Velocity. Those are two of my dogs that are no longer with me. Velocity was my first Italian Greyhound. Voodoo was my little Chinese crest boy. He is tattooed on my shoulder here. It's him as a Chinese dragon. Can you have anything cooler than a Chinese crested with a mohawk named Voodoo? My favorite snack. There's a brand in Pennsylvania called Oots. Oots, 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 Oots. U-T-Z. They make these unsalted potato chips. I love unsalted potato chips. They make other, all their chips are good, but the unsalteds are my favorite and not many brands make unsalteds. Oots also came out with low salt chips, which is the best because when I want chips with like a little bit of salt, but I can't eat chips with like the regular salt. I'm like, I scrape the salt off. It's so gross. Favorite book? No clue. Um, Honestly, no clue. There's so many books that I love. This is a really cool book. It's kind of up in my favorites right now because it's new. A lot of my other favorite books are gardening books, so really boring to most people. Okay, number five, my favorite animal, platypus. God was drunk that day. Take a little fuzzy bird, bill on it, make it lay eggs. Number six, quote, this is not your practice life. So many people live this life like we're gonna have another one, but I love that quote, this is not your practice life, because it's a reminder that every day this is your chance. This is it. This isn't practicing to have a life. This is life, so make it worth it. Number seven, favorite yoga pose, child's pose. Enough said. Love me a child's pose. My favorite vacation, number eight, was Palm Springs, California for my 50th birthday. Number nine, I hate shoes. There I said it. I hate shoes. Number 10, I'm a germaphobe. I'm not just saying that because of what's happened in the last 10 months to a year. I hate germs. It creeps me out. I do have OCD tendencies, so my hands are really dry. I tend to wash my hands about 50 times a day. I was doing that way before the whole, you know, pandemic thing started. Number 11, color. Duh. What color is my Jeep? Yeah. Purple. Yeah, everybody knows my favorite color. Number 12. God, this is going to take forever. We're only at 12. We got to speed this up. Dream trip. Someday when I can travel, I want to go to either Patagonia or Tierra del Fuego. If you don't know where it is, Google's your friend. My husband said, you just like to say Tierra del Fuego. And I said, yes, I do like saying Tierra del Fuego. But who knows? Maybe someday. 13. Favorite artist and or painting. My favorite painting, I don't really have one. I would say... Hmm, Maybe something by Dolly. Dolly's always been one of my favorite artists. I tend to like surrealists. 14, favorite perfume. This is Pacifica. They have it at Target now. It's really easy to find. And they have it at Ulta. This is called Himalayan Patchouli Berry. Don't think patchouli and be like, oh, hippie smell. Himalayan Patchouli Berry is so good. I have it in the perfume. I have it in the roll-on. And I have the perfumed hair and body mist. I have two of these. I have one of these. And I have two of the roll-on. I told you if I like something, I buy multiples. 15, 15, 15. Menagerie cosmetics. They started making whipped body soaps. And this is Texture Tuesday's Moon Slice Sky Whip. Sweet notes of lavender, lilac, and warm sugared vanilla with a hint of white musk. Ribbons of fluffy whip soap clouds that get you squeaky clean while moisturizing your skin. Our whips are infused with nourishing mango and shea butter oils. Use in bath or shower to cleanse or use as a shave soap. This stuff is so cool. I have like five of them in different smells, but look at this. Isn't that neat? It's like all swirly and kind of cool looking. It smells so clean and it's really fluffy, really nice. I spent years trying to find a natural deodorant that doesn't suck. I found this brand called Corpus. It's just corpusnaturals.com. Again, I'll put a link below. Made in the USA. It's good for 12 months. Corpus uses a completely naturally derived vegan formula. Our water-based formula contains naturally derived enzymes and plant extracts clinically proven to significantly reduce body odor. California scent, which is sea salt, bergamot, white musk, and jasmine. I 
love all of those things. The other one is Neroli. It's Neroli Orange Blossom Bergamot and Ambrette Seed. These are not cheap. I got these on sale. I got two in different scents. I have number green. There's one called NO.green. That's the one I've been using. They look like this. I wish you could smell this. This stuff works, okay? I have tried so many natural deodorants. What happens is I get bumps and I break out under my armpits from most natural deodorants. This is the first one in five years that I don't break out in bumps. I don't sweat. I never get wet through a shirt. I mean, it keeps me dry. With natural deodorants, it's kind of like a trial and error. You have to try different ones until you find ones that work with your body chemistry. This Corpus Naturals is the only, I bought two and I still have the one I'm finishing. God forbid they ever stop making this. It's like the only deodorant that works on me. And I refuse to buy drugstore mass produced deodorants anymore. Don't like them. Teen, we're on 17, kind of obsessed with this right now. This came out around the holidays. It's Give Me Glow Sweet and Sticky. You are gonna love this. Everyone is gonna want this. I don't know how you can not want this palette, seriously. And I like colors, but look at this beauty. We have They See Me Rollin', Let's Get Baked, Dem Buns Dough, Sweet Cinnamon Latte. Really? I mean, come on. An icing drip. The pigment, though. The pigment. Look at this. It's like blinding. I almost wanna, should I do it? <laughs> I now have eyeshadow on my cheek. It's gonna be my birthday if I want eyeshadow on my cheek. I'm gonna put it there. You could probably just use these as highlighter. Vegan and cruel free, Sleeping Bunny certified. It's got the little vegan and the bunny on it. I haven't even really played with this palette a lot, but I am obsessed with it. Really, really good palette. God, I'm lo I am lost count. What do we do? 16, 17, 18. 17? Eye palette, 16. 17. My favorite number is 18 because it is the number of the moon tarot card, which is on my shoulder. And if you add up my birthday, all the digits of my birthday, which is 110, 19, 69, it adds up to 18. That is my personality card. And then you factor it down. Eight plus one is nine, which is my second favorite number, is the hermit card, which, hello, that's me. Number 19, highlighters. Love my OMFG highlighters. I know it sounds weird, green highlighter, but this green highlighter is look at this you got to be careful with wearing a green highlighter it's like less is more but if you use a little bit of it i love this purple and these were a collab with slayer queen oh my god they smell so good i threw a couple on my hand right here and i think these came out around halloween last year cool friend and scream queen i love 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 their highlighters number 20 tattoo quotes i don't know if you noticed my other videos i have tattoos on both of my arms and they're in sanskrit and some people ask me what they say the one on my left arm is Gate Gate Paragate Parasangate Bodhisvaha, which means gone, gone, all the way gone, to the beyond, Svaha, which is like to be like Buddha. On the right arm, it's Buddha's last words, which Buddha's last words, nobody can quite translate it properly. People all said this was his last words. They quoted him. Listen to everything I've taught you. Everything ends anyway, so good luck with that impermanence. That's kind of the gist of his last words. It's such a good reminder. Like we can do everything, 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 but everything also must end and we need to accept it and that's okay. It might sound morbid to some people, but to me I love it. Number 21, my favorite shirt. On the back it says Dead Inside. This is a Black Craft Cult shirt. I absolutely love this shirt. Here's what's cool about it. It's worn and poofy, but see this fuzzy on the outside? It's also on the inside. It's like wearing a big soft fluffy blanket and the same with the sleeves where these sleeves are fluffy. They're like that on the inside also. And I'm dead inside after this last year. This is my new favorite shirt. I wear this way too much. Oh, number 22 from the creators of OMFG Cosmetics, Dark Soul Beauty. This is amazing, y'all. Okay. Apply to face and neck after cleansing and break hydration. May use under moisturizer or as a primer before applying, applying makeup. So this is a pro repair serum with hyaluronic acid and chamomile. And Dark Soul Beauty is a kind of a skincare a small skincare thing that the makers of OMFG started doing. And I have bought a lot of serums. In this serum, the smell alone, I just want to put it everywhere. I want to put it everywhere all day long. The scent in this is intoxicating. I don't know what it is. In my skin, I have noticed definite improvement with this. So highly recommend. I do have an affiliate code with OMFG that I will also put below. I do get a little, a few little scents back from it. And I always put it back into buying more products 
products from them so I can review. I don't take the money from it. I just put it into getting more of their products. Also, I love to support them. They are a female Native American owned brand. So you definitely want to support brands like that. Indie brands. People are buying these like 50, 60, $70 serums. And I have some really expensive serums, some Sunday Riley, Kate Somerville and all that. This blows them away. And it's probably like a third of the price. And it's an indie brand. Try this. It's so good. Not even kidding. What are we on? 23. There's a bunch of moisturizers. My favorite one is Elba Botanicals. You can get it at like Walmart. And it's a vegan cruelty-free brand. I get it on Amazon. And it's like really cheap. And it's probably one of the single best moisturizers ever. Not that expensive. Hi, editing me here. I just wanted to give you a little side note that's quite important about the Elba Botanical Hawaiian Moisture Cream, Smoothing Jasmine, and Vitamin E. It does have quite a heavy scent. It is a jasmine scent. And I mean, I don't think it's that heavy, but I like scented moisture creams. If you need to avoid scents in your facial products, please do not get this. It'll probably be too heavy for you. But if you do like a nice flowery jasmine smell, I love the way this smells. It's one of my favorites because of the scent. And I don't have a problem or any adverse reactions to scents in facial products. But you might want to sit this one out if you do. I just wanted to put that out there. Don't want anyone to have any problems with it. Always check to see if you need an unscented facial product if you have sensitive skin. Thank you. Back to scheduled programming. 24. My favorite toy or stuffy from Killstar and Killstar Creatures. I'm cute as hell also where I came from. So this is the gargoyle and I had to get him because he looks like my dog little dude. He's my new favorite toy and they're almost exactly the same size. They have the same fat little body and they have the same angry look on their face and I can't get over it. I'm like someone made a stuffy of my dog and put wings and horns on him. Okay, when you're recording this much, you realize that you totally miss things, and I completely skipped over number 25. This is my friend Jeremy's Knives. He is a knife maker. He is so talented. Check him out on Instagram at Quaker Hill Knives. 26 favorite shoes. I did not bring them in here, but I like Merrill running shoes now. And I like Solomon. Who knew? I was an Ultra fan for runners out there. I loved Ultra. You can't go wrong with Merrill and you can't go wrong with Solomon. Number 27, my prized possession. I don't have in here with me. This little girl, Tippy was my first foster Iggy and she was my heart dog. She had a liver shunt. Long story. I'm going to try and make this really fast. When a dog has a liver shunt, she had to have a five hour long surgery. She was only seven pounds. We thought we might lose her. It was crazy. It was a huge deal. She survived. She thrived. She had a great life. The liver shunt, to repair it, they put a little metal ring on the shunt. And the shunt is actually a vein that comes out of the liver and it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to go away after the dog is born, but hers didn't. And that's how dogs get liver shunts. You can look it up if you want more information on that. It's a big subject. She had a little metal ring that was put inside her body to close off this vein and shunt so that her liver would work properly. Well, after we lost her, we got her cremated. And I thought, oh my God, that metal probably didn't melt in the cremation. I wonder if it's in her ashes. I actually found the metal ring in her ashes. Hi, editing me here with some cute pictures of Tippy. While I tell you that isn't as gross and morbid as it might have sounded, her ashes were so tiny, they were in a little clear plastic bag. And it's not like I had to go like rustling through them all. I actually saw the ring clearly right inside. So not as gross as it sounds. Didn't want to freak you out there. It's all good. And I have it on a necklace and I have a little tube thing with some of her ashes in it too. It's probably my prized possession and here's why. Back then my husband wanted to propose to me and he couldn't because he couldn't afford a ring. So he always said that the liver shunt ring, the little ring that saved Tippy's life, saved my heart. I'm going to cry. The ring that saved my heart dog's life was my engagement ring. So I have that ring still and that's my engagement ring. He saved my heart dog's life. <sighs> okay, moving on. Favorite beverage, Coca-Cola. Second favorite beverage, whiskey. A whole 107 proof. Okay, that's all I'm having. Favorite music, favorite band, Sisters of Mercy. Swans, old goth bands. I like all kinds of music. Sisters of Mercy, I always go back to. I just, Temple of Love and Lucretia, My Reflection and... 
Emma. I mean, their cover of Gimme Shelter is just a classic, so you gotta love Sisters. Number 30, Candles I Love. I talked about this one, uh, Flint Candle Company. I'm not gonna talk about it a lot. They're out of Flint, Michigan. Morticia, please bring this back. I bought one. If I would have known it smelled like this, I would have bought like 10. Like I said, when I like something, I buy a lot. Very similar smelling, coincidentally, to Frostbeard Studio. They do these soy candles. So this one's called Divination Classroom. It's incense and Earl Grey tea smell. Poured by hand in small batches, vegan and renewable. Please reduce and recycle. 40 plus hour burn time. And they're from Minneapolis, made in the USA. It's frostbeardstudio.com. Number 31. Who would I want to get PR from? If I ever got known enough to get PR from people. I would want to get PR from Lunar Beauty. Manny, if you're watching this, please, please, please. And I would not say no to Melt Cosmetics. Melt and Manny do send out like these big ass PR packs. I would kill for those. Favorite YouTuber. You all know I love Adam McIntyre. Hi, bestie. Hi, Trishy Fishy. I love the Welsh twins. If you haven't seen the Welsh twins, it's Robert and James. Robert does makeup. James does the skincare. Now they do a thing called the Welsh twins. The Welsh twins podcast and their their YouTube is so freaking funny. I also love Butte Bean. Like, I love Amy Loves Makeup. Those are my favorites. My favorite is Instagram. I also like YouTube. My favorite flower is a stargazer lily. My favorite plant is a lily plant that I brought home from Palm Springs. I bought it and it was like this big two years ago. It's gonna be two years old now. I carried it on the plane with me. I bought it at a cactus garden that we went to and they had plants you could buy. I bought two plants and a little turtle sculpture thing. My lily plant now is like this big and it's it's thriving and it, I my favorite podcast, it's an oldie but a goodie. I have never found anything I love more than Hollywood Babylon with Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman because they just talk about movie star and movies and Hollywood stuff, but they are so funny. I've actually almost driven off the road laughing at them. I almost got in a car accident one day. Number 37, little thing that I don't know if you know, if you're not a Jeep person, there's a thing called a Jeep wave. And when you drive in a Jeep, you do a, you pass another Jeep and you do like a little wave from your steering wheel. It's really embarrassing, but it doesn't matter what car I'm in. If I'm even a passenger in someone's car. If I see a Jeep, my hand goes up. I can't, I can't not do it. And I have to keep my hand down. I'm like doing a Jeep wave where they can't see me going, this is embarrassing. I need to just be in my car at all times. The thing I like about myself the most, I would say my nose and I've never broken it, knock on wood. The thing I dislike about myself, everything else. I know, I shouldn't say that. I want to get my teeth fixed. I hope to film the process someday. I want to do a smile makeover. It's the one thing I dream about doing. Where do I want to live? Uh, I talked about this before. I want to move to the Scottish Highlands. I would love to buy a little cottage in the Scottish Highlands, have some goats and some sheep and some chickens. I would love to learn how to be a master whiskey distiller. Trail run and kayak on a lock and just be out in the middle of nowhere, way off the grid. I love everything about the Scottish Highlands and I'm in no way Scottish. I am Russian and Polish. I have no relation to anyone in Scotland, but there's something about it that, uh, maybe it's the whiskey. Where I would never want to live, California. I'm sorry, I have friends who live there. I am terrified of natural disasters. I don't want to say terrified, I have a healthy respect. California has everything I'm afraid of. They have giant fires, they have mudslides, giant tsunami shit off the West Coast, earthquakes. Earthquakes, mudslides, giant fires. I mean, need I say more? All things I don't like. I would be stressed on a daily basis. Just thinking about it gives me anxiety. The only sport I will ever watch and have ever watched is hockey because I'm from Detroit. Red Wings, how I met my my hubby number 43 is I met him skydiving. My first tattoo was my ankh, which is right here. See the little ankh right there? That's all I had originally. I went and got this. It was $15 back in the day. $15. And I think I was 18. I had just turned old enough to get it. Went and got this at, in Ypsilanti. And then I got Cairo. This is my other heart boy, Cairo. Cairo ankh. See what I did there? So I had his portrait done with the aunt kind of included. Things I hate. I hate intolerance, I hate selfishness, and I hate people with no empathy and no compassion. My favorite hat. This is my new favorite hat. I have many favorite hats. This is by Pawstar, and it's made in the USA. Pawstar is cute. They do like all these like cosplay things and stuff, but I'm in love with this hat and it matches my Jeep and it's my favorite color. So I can't wait until the next snowstorm because I'll put this hat on and I'm gonna drive around in my Jeep in my little furry ear hat. <laughs> this, this is like so cute. I'm not gonna put it on right now. I'm gonna mess my hair all up. Hair colors I've had not had. I've had every color. I will just say it, I've had every color. There is not a color I haven't had because I was a hairstylist. As far as crazy colors go, there is not a color in the rainbow I haven't had. 
editing me. I forgot number 48. I cannot believe it, but my favorite language is French. I studied it in high school for four years and got an A+. One language I would love to learn is Polish because that's where my ancestors are from. 49. I am ambidextrous. I dog groom with my left hand. I clipper with my left hand. I often eat with my left hand. I drink with my left hand. Oh, goodness. I also have a photographic memory, which has served me well in life, but it's a blessing and a curse. I see things that I don't want to remember, that I don't need to remember, and they're stuck in my head forever. It sucks. Oh my god, are we done with this yet? Okay, we have a couple more to do. <sighs> Favorite face things. <laughs> foundation. I'm just tired. Casas Winky Lux White Tea Tinted Veil and Tinted Face Oil. These are both light. They're natural so you don't have to... Weird sound. Casas, it's really nice. It's so, so nice. I think I got this in a boxy charm, and I, it turns out I love it. And the Winky Lux White Tea Tinted Veil, just absolutely such a nice feeling. I got this in the summer. Look how dark it is. I could really tell how pale I am now by putting this on. Can you see that? Needless to say, I won't be wearing that for a little bit. It has like a really clean, soft smell. It's light. It's kind of dewy. Tinted veils, not meant to be full coverage. Last but not least... Yeah! And my favorite things, blushes. These are my three favorite blushes. I couldn't pick one. Moon Prism, as you know, I love. And I've shown this before, but I'll show it again. It's really pretty and it is just, oh, the colors, oh. These are very natural. So this is my very natural, kind of, you know, natural, neutral, don't want to go out and scare the normies palette. It took all year for me to get this palette, the Arthurine blush palette. This thing, it was like my unicorn last year. I could not get this. Every time they got it back in stock, it sold out instantly. Look at this craziness. You don't need any other blush. Unbearably cute blush below. So the names are Cloudberry, Goji, Sugarberry, Dog Rose, Agarita, Bearberry, Blueberry, Salmonberry, and Persimmon. And I mean, look at this crazy, like this purple, and then this rose in the middle, and this gold. And if you think goji, like gold blush, it looks good. I did a look with gold blush. It warms you up. You can almost use it like a little bit like a bronzer. Persimmon and this Cloudberry is probably one of the all-time prettiest blush colors I've ever seen. Keep in mind, if you want this palette, I don't know if it's sold out yet, but every time they put it on their website, it sells out. Again, Menagerie is an indie brand, so a little tougher to get. You can't just go to a store and get it. Maybe someday you will be able to. Right now you can't. And last but very not least, yes, we have bright yellow blush. I love it. I need to do a look with the gold and the yellow blush so you don't think I'm all crazy. These colors, they look really kooky and bright, but with a light hand. I'm actually wearing the Fairy Blush palette. They make one, they have the clown blush and likely has one called the Fairy Blush palette. It has this crazy green in it and it has this really light purple. It's hard to see, but I'm actually wearing the light purple blush out of the Fairy Blush palette by Liquid Makeup right now. I have gotten really into the weird blush colors this year. I think that's everything, guys. That was 52 things I love or facts about me. It was long. Wait until you see the next ones I want to do. We're going to do 52 lip colors and 52 eye colors. Please come back. I know you want to see those. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. This is like exhausting. 52 is a lot. Couldn't I please be like 25 again so I can just do 25? I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, please subscribe, please come back. I will strive to keep you entertained. I will strive to keep things light and fun. I hope this took you out of whatever funk you might be in, if you are in one. Things have been tough lately. Hang in there. My parting advice, my, my birthday wisdom I will impart. Everything is really stressful right now. Things are crazy. Find something you love and just forget about the news and forget about the world for a little bit. You can be concerned about what's going on and you should be concerned about what's going on in the world. You should be socially aware. You should be politically aware. You should know what's going on on the planet around you. Take it from me. I've lived sheltered and in a cave for a while and I just started kind of tiptoeing and venturing out and I realized it's really important to do that for your own mental health and balance and to support your friends and people you love. You can't just hide out all the time. If you're out there all the time and putting yourself out there, don't feel guilty to do something that's just for you that is fun or makes you happy. Even if you're just sitting at home alone and you do a full face of makeup and you go, hey, I'm gonna wear purple blush. I think I said this in another video with these crazy colors. Where you got to go? Who's gonna see you? Unless you accidentally have a Zoom call you forgot about and you're wearing clown blush. Who knows? Maybe they'll love it. <laughs>
Maybe you'll be the life of the party on your Zoom call. You'll be like, surprise, I did this for you. Try new things, try different things, try crazy things, support independent brands, support female owned brands. Please seek them out. They are out there. There's so many, and especially the way things are now, they all need your support. Anything from candles to skincare to makeup to your whiskeys. You might have a local distiller. We have local distillers here, 10 minutes from my house. It's great to support your local businesses. Thank you for watching. Come back again for 52 more things. I might keep it going all next week. I should do 52 sips of whiskey. That would be funny. I never drink more than like this much. Happy birthday to me. Stay positive, everybody. Thanks a lot. Love y'all. See you next time. Bye. Cheers. Bye.